In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean up your backdrops in Photoshop. Take your images from looking like this to looking like this. If you do a lot of studio photography, it's more than likely you will have come across this issue in the past and struggle to actually figure out how you can fix it. And if you stay towards the end, I can show you guys a quicker way that you can actually apply this to multiple images within five seconds. This is an image of model Nicole. But if I come in closely, you'll see on the backdrop, there are a few scuff marks, shoe prints, and a few other bits here and there. And we want to remove that effectively and still maintain a little bit of the natural shadows cast by the light and the model's positioning. So how we go about doing that? Um, it is important that when you're working, um, when you're working like this, I always recommend working non-destructively. What this means is that if you do make a mistake, you can always go back and fix it and you don't ruin your original image. And the first thing we're going to do to actually get to that non-destructive way of working is by duplicating our background. So this is your first step. So your first step is to duplicate your background. So, and to do that, if you're using a Mac or a Windows, the technique is exactly the same. Obviously the commands are slightly different in terms of your button layout on each system. But for a Mac users is Command J and you duplicate your layer. And this is the first step for you to actually work above your original layer and does so if you do make a mistake you can then always go back and change it if needs be so your first step would be to duplicate your layer and the next thing you want to do is go to select and then select subject the good thing about the newer version of photoshop it is super fast and um, amazing if you do have the older version of photoshop it will still the technique will still work it's just going to be slightly slower but by clicking select subject it is going to automatically go through the image and within a couple of seconds is select the subject. So that's your second step is to select your subject. Your third step is to go to select again and then you go to expand. You want to expand your selection of your subject by about, I would say between five and seven pixels. I'm going to go with seven pixel on this occasion. So we click OK. You then go back into select again this is your third step go back into select go to modify again and this time feather and you want to feather that particular selection that you just made by about one to three pixels and then you click OK. The next step in the process is to now separate your subject from the actual background. And you do that by literally, again, clicking Command J. So Command J will then basically separate your subject from the background. So your subject is actually on its own layer. Um, again, we're working non-destructively here. So the next step in the process is reselecting your subject. There are a couple of ways of doing that. And if you go onto your subject layer and you click command again, that will reselect your subject. So um, by reselecting your subject, what you wanna do now is go on to selection. And this is your fourth step, which is invert your selection. So this now is gonna be selecting just the background. The next step in the process is you then, once you've select your background layer again, what you wanna do is come to where is, it says layer copy one. You can name these layers if you wanted to for ease of use, but if you stay to the end, I'll show you guys how you can create all of this and make it automated by using an action. So the next step would be to actually now select your layer copy one, and then you click command J again, and this is going to make a selection of just your background layer. And this is where you're going to be doing most of your work. This is where the magic is going to happen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to filter and then we go to blur and then come down to Gaussian blur. And we want to blur our selection anywhere between 10 to 100. If you go too far, you will start bleeding into the subject and bleeding into any surrounding areas, etc. But you can use your sliders to give you a preview as to how it's going to look. And as you can see, um, I think 
around about between 50 and say 75 is really a good shout for us in terms of getting our selection nice and clean and still maintaining some of those natural shadows. So we're gonna go with, uh, we'll go with 56 on this occasion and then you just click okay. And that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done. Uh, and you know, again, you're working non-destructively, but a good rule of thumb is to then select all three additional layers that you've created and put them into a group. So Command G and group those into a layer. So again, this is what I mean about working non-destructively. What this allows you to do is that if you wanted to reduce the opacity on the layer and not make it so harsh in your opinion, you can then drop your opacity and that will, you know, dictate how the image look as well. What you could also do is you can create a layer mass and invert that layer mass as well. So if you wanted to take out certain areas, um, like for instance, if you want to retain some more of the shadow, like underneath Nicole's shoe in this case, you can always, you know, use a layer mass and mask some of those areas back in by using a black brush. That is the simple, simple process of getting your backdrop from looking like this to looking like this. And it is that simple. When I said this, the process is quite simple, I'm gonna show you now a technique that you can do this process on multiple images in by just clicking one button and by running an action. I'm gonna show you now how to create the action. So we'll delete that and we'll start again. So again, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your actions panel is open and to make sure that's open, you go to windows and then you go, come down to action and you click action. You can also click F9, which is gonna open your actions panel. And when you go to your actions panel, you wanna click on to the right hand side and you click new action. And then you click new action and you give it a name. So we're gonna call ours background cleanup. Clean up and click record. All right, so what's gonna happen now? So every single thing that you do from here on out will then record into an action that you can then just press one button. So what you then do is you come onto your layer panel, open your layer. Again, we start off by working non-destructively. We start off by creating our first duplicate layer. So we duplicate our layer we then select our subject. We then modify that selection. We expand that selection by seven pixels. We then come back, modify again, and then we feather our selection by three pixels. Click OK. We then Command J and put that layer onto its own layer. Put our, and then we put our subject onto its own layer. Then we click Command again and click onto our subject. That's gonna reselect our subject. And this time we wanna come down to layer copy one and we are going to invert our selection. And this is where the magic happens now. So what we wanna do now is we wanna put our background layer onto its own layer as well. Um, so separate our subject and our background and put them on an individual layers. So we'll click Command J and that's gonna put our background layer onto its own layer. So what we're blurring now is essentially just the background layer. And then the next step is to come down to Gaussian Blur, Blur, and if we press, thing, we all, it's already got the values that we use on the previous site. So we just click OK. And then the last step would be to press Shift and select all those and then command G and then put those into a group and that's your action completed. So you then come back to your actions panel and you click on the stop button and that's it. So you've now essentially create an action that if you've got multiple images or a series of images from the same shoot and you have to clean up a lot of the background, you can simply just use an action to do so. So it is that simple. So if we delete this group altogether and we go to our actions panel and we go to our background cleanup, 
all we do is simply click play on that and you will see it will automatically run and within five seconds it is all done and dusted and you can carry on doing this for every other image it is that simple guys and if you did enjoy this video you will enjoy the next one we're going to be doing which i'm going to be putting here and that one will be how to extend backgrounds in photoshop thank you guys for watching and i'll see you then